Hello, my name is Megadrew Pickles, and today, as part of Megavember and for his entry to the event, I Megadrew Pickles tell you why I declined starring in Voltron, legendary defender as Takashi Shiro Shira game. You see it was the 2010s I was trying to find a way to surpass my gay counterpart in everything in every way but very straight instead. I would hear the classic anime Voltron is getting a reboot on Netflix. I would realize, since my faggot counterpart failed to star in movies so I decided to star in something so I can rub it all over his face. Then I would go over to DreamWorks for auditions. Unlike my faggot counterpart here, I have no records of my film history so they don't have to worry about any Lenny history of mine. For the casting myself, my wife Mega Charlotte, Mega Betty Deville, Mega Quaker Queer, Mega Barney, Johnny Bravo, Team Ruby and some of the Mega Barney Bunch members would star as Takashi Shiro Shira game, Princess Aura, Keith, Lance, Katie Pitch Gunderson Holt, Tank, Corin Hieronymus Wimbledon Smythe, and the other Voltron Legendary Defender characters. As for what changes I want here, I want to make, well here is the list, is that all the characters would be very very straight and fight against a group that is a parody of the Repulsor Republic who wants to make everyone and everything LGBTQ but had to be changed to the Galran Empire to not get sued by Hasbro who owns the rights to Power Rangers at the time. There would be lots of straight kissing and no, there will be no straight sex. Because I'm not that sexually deranged like my gay counterpart here and knew it's for children to teens here. But, however, since the writing team are all made by social justice warriors, they will insist there will be some LGBTQ characters with minimum screen time here. Then they will try to push more LGBTQ bullshit and we push back but however they scream like Twitter but hurt man babies, if they don't get their way. We will try to get our way of making it more faithful to the original series modernized without putting stuff in that Drew and the Barney Bunch would probably like to put in the show, if they showed up instead. We will try to convince them to spare the princess and her boyfriend, while letting the gay couple die but those stupid SJW writers insisted it will cause some outcry in the community because of diversity bullshit reasons. I wanted to have my way of the film but the writers being the man children they would threaten to out us as homophobes, if they don't have their way, but I said jokes on you I am already homophobic but for some weird reason they thought it was satire and didn't kick us out of the project, when I said it. We tried to include many straight kiss scenes, as possible and swell action scenes but the writers kept cutting them out or replaced them with gay ones to our frustrations. As it goes on we will have to deal with more gay bullshit more and 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 more but put up with it so we can be in a movie and or show that my gay counterpart failed to do many times before lol. However the change that became the final straw that broke the camel's back is I was told my character Takashi was supposed to be in a gay relationship and marry a male named Curtis, while to female as Oren Zethrid would be also in a lesbian relationship and naturally it be something the Barney Bunch and Betty Bunch would be into, but since we are super straight and homophobic naturally I couldn't stand having my role be a gay character so I told the writers to remove and make them straight couples instead. As I said, fuck no there is no way I am working in a show that has LGBTQ but however, since the writers are run by SJW faggots, they will say, there is no way we are doing that. We are trying to be more inclusive and have more representative to the LGBTQ community not be homophobic. All of your suggested changes are extremely homophobic and bigoted there is no way we are accepting those you suggested here. Then I will say, you guys can either take it or leave it. Fuck you all, you faggots. So me and the Mega Barney Bunch left the project and Voltron the Legendary Defender had the current voice actors of characters fill in our places since we left the project. Then Mega Barney will say why not do our own version of the show. Then we will do our own version straight drawn the heterosexual Defender. The show will be received well for the action scenes, animation but has controversy in many ways after the gay shit happened and gets blasted by both sides for killing off a gay character, poorly writing gay romance stuff and other woke nonsense before it was even a thing in the 2020s here. Jeez, I wonder why it went down the shitter. Also regular Drew and the Barney Bunch didn't like it either, before the awful writing turned them off too much to even bother jerking off to the gay stuff. So this is why I Megadrew Pickles didn't star in Voltron Legendary Defender. 
I hope you all enjoyed this alternate take of why Drew didn't star in show or movie with me Mega Drew Pickles instead of regular Drew. Happy Megavember everyone and I hope you all enjoyed the entry to the event here. Later my homophobic bastards.